Alrighty. Sup, YouTube. It's peak week. Stay tuned to watch me run you through my peak week lifts. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. It's squat day! You guys heard it. It's squat day. It's PR day. It's peak squat day. 347 pounds, I'm coming for you. Literally just squat down and stand up. Going in with 100% confidence. That weight is my Let's go squat a significantly large house. Today was a day, let me tell you. First time that I went for 347, I failed it. I lost my brace at the bottom, I lost positioning. Second time, it was a fight, it was a grinder, but we got that shit up like I told you! I knew I had it. Last week when I failed 402 on deadlift, I kinda knew that I didn't have that if I went a second time. After I failed 347, I was like, I got this shit. I know I have this. And we went for it again, got really hype, stayed super tight in the hole, pushed through it, got that shit up, I was so excited. It was such an accomplishment for me. I've been working my ass off on squat, doing three squat days a week. I'm just really, really happy with how squats move today. Then, I didn't get this on video, but I almost died. I had 253 for back offs, and <laughs> I literally fell forward. I fell forward, smashed my knee. Luckily, Meg was behind me. She grabbed the bar off of me, literally folded in half under the bar. It's fine though. We got up, we regrouped, and we took that shit again. Because my mentality, with especially with being a gymnast in the past, is if I don't go for something that I fail right away or again, mentally, you're going to be nervous about it. So I made myself take it for seven. Oh, I'm not nervous when it comes to squat. Like, yeah, I failed it. Fell on my knee, almost snapped in half, you know. But I went for it again and got that confidence back up because I cannot lack confidence on squat. Especially since I used to get mental blocks, gymnastics, don't want that to happen with squats. So we went for it again, even though we failed it, just to kind of build that mental toughness. Even though everything was against me today, <laughs> the squats moved, I won't say really good, but I'm just very happy with how I was able to push through 347 because that was my goal for the end of prep was to hit 347 and I did that and we just got to trust the taper now and big things coming. <laughs> To the two count, right? Go ahead. Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hell yeah. Light work. That was easy. That was so.
jacked. I had bench today. So I went to bed after my heavy squat day. I couldn't fall asleep. My back hurt so bad. It was pinching the whole entire night. I put some heat on it. Slept like shit. Woke up in the morning, went to PT. He did a little soft tissue work, a little cupping, just to try and get the pain manageable. I had a double with 226. It moved phenomenal. The last two weeks on bench have been really discouraging. So today taking 226 for a double, two second pause, and then moving pretty fast is a very good confidence booster. Everything's cramping, everything's hurting. It's the end of prep. What can you expect? That's literally what we sign up for. Let's squat. <laughs> squatted 315 for two reps two reps let's freaking go that weight used to be my arch nemesis i failed it so many times so many times to finally be able to take it for a double and be confident in that double and i literally wasn't scared at all i was so confident going into that squat double move it fairly well and just be super confident with it i'm super super happy with squats joy bench two reds today it's not even a question yes you freaking will i'm gonna bench two reds today and when i bench two reds today i'm officially gonna be in the a thousand club we go for a real nice spicy pause then we say F we ball and go for two reds this is approved by my coach so don't come at me it's peak bench day baby Literally just push it off your chest. Nothing but a peanut. Let's go bench a significantly large house.
food you to the back. week recap. Deadlifts we know did not go so smooth the week before. Squat went very well, very happy with how that moved. Bench was comical. It was funny, but my pause single moved pretty good and I paused it really well, so feeling good with that. Just trying to recover as much as I can. I've been drinking my electrolytes. I've been walking, getting my steps in, make sure the back is moving and not going to stiffen up putting heat on my back, trying to do mobility throughout the day, just taking care of my body, because that's honestly all I can do right now. The work is done, I just have to make sure my body is going to be 100% the best it can be on meet day. I am currently sitting at about 138.8, right on the dot of where I need to be. I made weight like three days in a row, so I don't think we're going to have to water cut, which is really, really good. I'm going to be posting days leading up to nationals. I'm obviously going to film like the whole trip and try and film as much as I can to put out a pretty sick video. I think Wednesday morning I'm going to try and put out a video of what I do to prepare for nationals because you know what? Look good, lift good. We're going to be getting our nails did, our eyelashes done, pedicure, everything you can think of, a facial. If you want to see some of that, make sure you are subscribed. Hit the post notification button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to see more JoJo Fitness content. Love ya.